Pulmonary stenosis occurs in 1 in 2,000 births. With mild to moderate pulmonary stenosis, the four-chamber view may be normal. However, with severe pulmonary stenosis, the right ventricle can be larger or smaller than the left ventricle. This is dependent on what stage of evolution and or gestational age the stenosis occurs and its effect on right ventricular hemodynamics and chamber development. This Doppler image is taken from a transverse sweep through the chest. In this image, the four-chamber view appears to be normal, with no evidence of disproportion between the right and left atrial and ventricular chambers. This color Doppler image, obtained at the level of the three-vessel view, demonstrates pulmonary stenosis. The color Doppler demonstrates aliasing because of the increased velocity of the stenotic jet. This view is obtained at the level of the three-vessel view and demonstrates tricuspid regurgitation as blood enters the right ventricle during ventricular diastole. This is a cine clip of a transverse sweep through the chest illustrating the changes observed in the three previous slides. Try and identify the pathology.